thought the first thing I'd cover is, has anyone here seen that movie with Jimmy Stewart called It's a Wonderful Life? Show of hands. <laughs> it's about this bank. You're not the strongest bank in Maine six years in a row for nothing, Mr. Man. Yeah, you're shocked that I'm president of anything, ain't you? <laughs> Frankly, I would be too. <laughs> but uh, nice pictures, by the way, in the annual report. Uh, nice chats. Love chats. I do. I live for chats. These are gorgeous. <laughs> there we go. Now, moving on. You've got a flamingo for a gavel. That's, that's good. <laughs> Come up here already to make some shining, glowing remarks about this bank and the pink flamingos right in the middle of it. <laughs> One's broke, it's a broke leg too. <laughs> Put this over here so somebody gets hurt. It ain't gonna be me. <clears throat> and this other leg sticking out in a pretty dangerous spot, so we're gonna move that. <laughs> <laughs> Not making it easy on me, Anna. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you saw them sticky things on your place there. They got, well, it's a little pen there, and you've got a little magnet you can get on your, if you've got any room left with the, with the grandkids' pictures on, on your refrigerator, you can put them on you. Anna actually wanted to put the 800 number on that thing there. But she tried that about 10 years ago and, and got the wrong number. <laughs> Turns out once you've got 10,000 and things with the wrong number, they're wrong and there ain't no way to change it. So. Anna said, we're going to go make it easy to get the right number. We ain't putting one on this time. So if you want to put the 800 number in the bank, you write it on yourself. If you get it wrong, that's your fault. No, I, I'm actually, I'm, I want to make a few remarks about the state we're in here and uh, get ready. Hang that up. I, uh, I am, I'm actually, in addition to being the president of Wise Reading, uh, I'm also an unregistered Maine guard <laughs> and a registered Maine poacher. <laughs> We call it feeding the family. <laughs> I've been working on the coast for a number of years down Cundy's Harbor. I don't know if you're familiar with Cundy's Harbor way up here inland like you are, aren't you? It's, it's a little drinking village on the coast with a fishing boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good people. Drunk most of the time. <laughs> I was actually born, so you know a little about me, I was actually born uh, in, down in Weston, and, uh, yeah, yeah. that's a Maine girl over there. You can tell a Maine girl, she speaks right up. Plus, she keeps her arms crossed like that. Yeah. She's saying, go ahead and make me laugh, mister. That's a challenge. I will say this, there's no telling who the main boys are in here because they're all sitting down. I tell you, you can tell a main boy when he's standing because he's leaning on something. And so I, I can't tell which new boys are main boys right now. But if any of you get out and go to the restaurant with some come and stand, you'll be leaning on the wall. Even if I warn you not to, you'll be leaning. <laughs> Mike Selena. <laughs> now, I, uh, I, I, I do like to start off my remarks. So, oh, we've got someone coming in late. <laughs> Good to see you, Rob. <laughs> Rob's an old friend, a former friend of mine, right here. <laughs> We've known each other for some time. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, I do like to stat my remarks with a little education. I, uh, you folks are doing a great job. Up you are the strongest bank for good reason. And, and I hope if you haven't seen that movie I mentioned, a series I just gave a uh, uh, a cad with the name of it to uh, Peter because he should see that movie. He is Jimmy Stewart. Okay. You can, no. See, he don't know what's funny about that, but Jimmy Stewart jumps off a bridge in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but he's saved by an angel, so it all comes out good in the end. <laughs> yeah, it's a wicked decent movie. In fact, I think everyone here ought to have that movie. I really do. So next year, instead of that little sticky thing, you know, <laughs> 
get him a DVD of the, of the of his wonderful life and, and say, and read me, because it's, uh, now someone can help me, it's uh, something, savings and loan. Can anyone help me? What's the name of the bank in that movie? Bedford Falls. Bedford Falls Saving and Loan. That's what it is. Bailey it Brothers. should be. Huh? Bailey Brothers Saving. Bailey Brothers Saving. The Bailey Brothers. That's right. You're Mr. Bailey. You what? You're not as numb as he was. But you're close a bit on No, he's a lot smarter than he looks. I already checked. I've been talking to him. He's just not. I, uh, no, I've got I've to tell you, really. I, I want you to go away a little smarter when you come through the door. Now, with me, it's easy. I walk in any room. I'm bound to learn something. But there's a few people here, you know, Chuck, for instance, he's going to learn something tonight. Uh, Chuck's smart. You are, uh, Chuck. You're smart if you'd sink down a little low and be out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get in the low of that chair, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck's been with me on a number of occasions, and I always manage to find him right, where he is. He, he walking by in the road one day, and I yelled to him on, in the middle of an audience uh, situation. But, no, I, I want you to know how to look. To, I've seen more important people tonight than I have in years, although I did have dinner with an important man last night. True story. I was telling people, my, how many people are familiar with Shanana, the group, the old, oldest? Yeah, Bowser? Bowser. Right? <laughs> had dinner with Bowser last night. Yeah, yeah. He's still weird. <laughs> but he's rich now, so he don't care. <laughs> That's the truth. I did. He was in the gut. Why? I don't know. Uh... But, uh, no, if you want to look important in a group of people, you know, Chuck, pay attention. <laughs> Jeez, you know, I can't keep your attention for 10 seconds, can I? It's going to get ugly if you don't pay attention. All right. No, Chuck and I have been friends for some time. He dated my wife years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, you should not encourage me because this could go on forever. I, I've got printed remarks I ain't even started yet. So, oh my God, I gotta be at work at 7.30 a.m. I think I'll make it, just barely. All right. No, it, I, I want you to, uh, you pay Chuck, pay attention. Come on, sit up. Mary, whack him side the head, will ya? Now, if you, if anyone here is ever in a position, I've been, I've traveled all over the country making remarks, you know, as the president of a company like this, you get asked, asked to make remarks everywhere, and I make remarks and observations, and I was in uh, California not too long ago, big room, big, big as this, maybe bigger, and I walked in that room, didn't know a soul in that room, walked in, and I knew every important people, every important person just like that, every, you know why? In today's high-tech universe, if you're important, you show right up in the crowd because you've got a, a you know, a, a, a beeper here, you've got a cell phone there, you've got a raspberry in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll stain if you sit on them. <laughs> Keep a tide stick with you. <laughs> but I ain't important, I'll never be important. I don't want to be important. I can see the pressure on, on Representative Mills' face of the importance of, of life. <laughs> see, she thought she set that far back and wouldn't see it. <laughs> no, it's true. You see the strain on them people. So I don't want, but I want to look important like everybody else. You know what I do, don't you? I go to town. Oh, wait, my garage door open. <laughs> <like that. laughs> That right there's a turbo model from Sears and Robot. <laughs> My guy's doing West Gardner going up and down. Scares <laughs> <laughs> the daylights out of the cats. <laughs>